Dr. Jasmine Lim became the wife of Malaysian comedian Hari Viskander in 2010. It was a bumpy road leading to their marriage because she did not have the support of her parents, considering he was 17 years older, belonged to a different faith, and was a comedian. My parents did not agree with our marriage. Um, I lost my friends, I was disowned from my home. But I kept going because I know that those objections are actually out of love. And I didn't stop communicating with my parents even though they didn't want to speak to me. And I believe that they have their own stand and I would respect that. And same goes to me as well. And it's the first time that I disobeyed my parents of 26 years of my life. And I've been daddy's girl throughout my whole life. My dad has been with me, you know, and he's, he's very protective of me. So it was very tough for him to accept the fact that I'm going to marry a comedian husband who is so much older than me. That's even worse. So there was every, there's objection about every single thing that he's do, not doing right mm. in, in his context. Wow. But I just had to make a stand for myself because I, I know that this is what I want. This marriage is what I want. I know my parents don't agree with it, but I have to make a stand. You, you're taking responsibility. Yes, for and your another actions. word, less responsibility. So I told myself, so what happens if this marriage is not going to work? What is the worst thing that's going to go through? You know, what, what's the worst? So at the end of the day, I told my husband, especially during our conversion, it was really tough for me because I didn't know if I was doing the right thing or, or um, what happens if this don't work after I convert. Yeah. So it was really tough. And I just told Harit, you know what? I'm going to go through this conversion because I love you and if I have to go through this, we are going through this together. Regardless of what happened after the marriage, um, I would say at the end of the day, it was my choice and it's up to me to take responsibility and to be responsible of the action. Yeah. How is your relationship with your parents right now? I would say it's good. It's oh. amazing. So after Xander was born, which is my, my first boy, everything just turned around. And wow, from so not good. speaking to my parents, I have not seen them for almost two years. Um, all of a sudden, my mom just popped into the ward and I, I, I asked Harit, is that my mama? What is she doing here? You and didn't talk to her for two years? Well, I mean, I text her, right. but there was no reply. Right. Okay. Um, I had one phone conversation with my dad. Uh, with my brother, we spoke more, but he was still slightly reluctant to, 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 to see me. And yeah, when Zender was born, everything turned around. Um, she's begun to accept that the fact that I'm already married, number one. Yeah. So it goes stage by stage by stage. We take lots and lots of baby steps. But after the third child, it's so much better now. Mm. And they are our best babysitter. <laughs> oh, wow. So you've made it really. Yeah, and so now I could actually to... go away for three days and I could safely, you know, have my kids in my mom's place and that definitely helped you know as a parent we need our time as well and yeah. you went into it with both eyes open yes that's so good and <laughs> thank you really thank, thank you, so, you much. so much for coming to thank you to talk to me and no worries really at all. appreciate it and she's such a good photographer <laughs> <laughs> yay, yay.